Louisiana Beer Review's Cooped Up Farmhouse Ale from Urban South of New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, so Cooped Up, you know, on a farm. This is a city style with a rustic soul on Chapatula Street. And there's the two roosters and uh, hops and little cartoon scenes of New Orleans, Louisiana. I tried this on draft at the uh, release party for Modillion IPA. I want to thank David. <coughs> thank you, David Garlapete, for this can. What a wonderful gift. Uh, 5% alcohol. I think, weren't they saying it was 5.5 when I had it on draft? I don't know. Thought so, but I mean, I'm going to go with what the can is saying. 5% 20 international bitterness units. Good, they have information. Eric Alliance fan is always saying, why can't they just put that on all the cans and bottles? I said, well, it's not a rule. They don't have to. He said, yeah, but why not do it? <laughs> He's got a good point. A malt beverage, it says. Okay. That's what beer is. A beverage made with barley malt, essentially. I don't see a date, guys. I do not see a damn date. If I see these guys, I will... Okay, now there's some chicken wire. On the label, you see, chicken wire. You can put chicken wire, but you can't put the date. I mean, all kidding aside, you could put the date. Okay. Um, here at 8.30. 8. Um, 8.30, haha, sorry, 8.11. 8.11 a.m. Fairly thin, white head. This is not the first video review for this beer in the world. That would be Josh. Look up this beer. You'll see Josh uh, doing it over there in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's pretty clear. Well, let's see. It's just kind of say No, it's not so clear. It's hazy. Uh, when I can't see my finger through it, it ain't clear. Golden, pale, straw, gold type situation. Talking about rock and roll music, here's the KBC band album from 1986. Sing a song for America. She was once young. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Tyranny and Mutation. Red and black. The black and the red. The red and the black. City's on flame now. <laughs> With rock and roll. Roll. She was young once with her heart on fire. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, back to the beer. Wings wet it down. Okay. Uh, it smells similar, very similar, very similar to the draft version. It's not a huge, like, overwhelming presentation or attack from Britannomyces. It's there, but it's low level. There's more of a citrus, a lemon type thing. Pale malts, okay? Pale barley malt. <clears throat> Some yeasty action going on like a spiced white bread all right I, I enjoyed it at the brewery and I enjoyed the Modillion I had a little taste of that but this one I had and I, I, yeah my sister was drinking the Modillion and so uh, David and everybody um it's tart. Whoa, this is more like a sour man than a farmhouse ale. Farmhouse ale. Let me see this label again. It doesn't taste. Oh. <laughs> tart farmhouse ale, excuse me. I got the Blue Oyster Call album correct. Okay, um. Ooh. 
Woo. All right. There are no. There. There is practically nothing on rape beer and beer advocate. I think there's one review, so there's no score. All right. So sorry about that little misstep. Tart. Sour. Yeah, it seemed a little different on draft, more of a farmhouse than a, I don't know, we had been doing a lot of, uh, that day, you can't really hold me, you can't hold me to that, okay, because we had done so many tastings before, we said now, now that we've done all the tastings, let's go to the <laughs> release party, so, it's sort of like, you know, Out there with those natives, things get confused. Walter Kurtz was one of the finest officers this country has ever produced. He's outstanding in every way. Yeah, it's just like a super mellow, laid back, rustic, urban Mississippi riverfront type situation. The body is medium. Oh, it's dry. It's like a mimosa. You like champagne? You like orange juice? You could substitute this for that. In fact, I would prefer to do it. Remember, remember when my daughter was 12, we'd go to those buffets, those Easter and, and they'd have mimosas. All right. Yeah, so it's just medium body, tart, mellow, dry, just like. There's some, and it's more in the aroma than the flavor but not predominant in either, on either end of it. But there's some Britannomyces thing going, but not a horse blanket experience. There is one I think they make that's more geared toward that. So uh, if I was looking to drink a sour beer or a, a quasi sour beer or a tart farmhouse ale and I wouldn't be, <laughs> but let's just say that I, for some bizarre reason, had a, a craving for it. This would be one to get. It's not world class, it's not extraordinary, but it's nice. It's a nice beer. It's kind of like that mid-70s television series, Angie. It was nice, you know? So, <laughs> this is nice. I'll say, a. Mm, It's a B. It's nice. Good. It's good. It's good. It's kind of like this album. It's good. Not great. Good. Glad I have it. All right. It ain't tyranny and mutation, but that's a whole different ball game when you're talking about that. Okay, so laissez les bon temps relais. An enjoyable beer, you know, good. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.